What's up, the John Squad? You know the day, Tay Tay. Morning for all the wrestling ones. Were I'm gonna break the minute raw for you guys. We're gonna start with the minute raw talk first, and then oh, I'm gonna give you the AEW Dynasty results from this past Sunday. So let's do the show, the John Squad. So we kicked off the minute raw with um with main event Jey Uso and Damian Priest uh, uh, coming face to face ahead of their match at at Backlash. So then Priest says that. The, the, that Jay will be the first in, in a long line to fall to him. Jay says he, he's the only reason why Priest is the leader of the Judgment Day is because Rhea Ripley got hurt and claims he will become the next World Heavyweight Champion. That's what Jay Ushu said. So then, the first match you had in Raw was for the World Tag Team Titles. The Miz and R Truth beat DAY to retain the World Tag Team Titles. Gunther declares his entry into the King of the Ring tournament and says that he will be targeting whoever is a champion. Xavier Woods then declares himself into the entry in the King of the Ring tournament and says that he will he will win it for a second time and cement his legacy. Dirty Dom is injured and can't compete tonight on Raw. That's what happened on Raw. And Satina Escobar replaced Dom and team up with J.D. McDo later on. And that's happened backstage. So then the New Day beat Imperium. After the match, Luigi Castro turns on GMI Vinci and beats him down. Then Drew McIntyre declares his entry to the King of the Ring tournament. Then we have Sheamus comes out and confronts Drew McIntyre and says that he he needs to take responsibility for his own actions and mistakes that he's made. Drew says that the last time he saw Sheamus, he was delivering b banger after banger, but now it looks like he's bigger after burger. Burger after burger. That was pretty funny right there. Since Sheamus beat Shinsuke Nakamura in a match... Then we had Big Bronson Reed attack Sami Zayn backstage. Then Chad Gable has an in-ring promo on Raw. And Chad Gable insults Otis, Shakira Tozawa, and Maxine Dupree. Gable demands that every member of the Alpha Academy must help him with the Intercontinental title no matter what it takes and makes Otis say it out loud. So then Ricochet and Andrade be Santino Escobar and J.D. McDo in the match. After the match, Damian Priest attacks Ricochet and Andrade. And Priest tells Dirty Dom and J.D. that he doesn't need them. They need him. So then Nia Jax and Liv Morgan got into a backstage brawl backstage. Which that was a good segment right there. So then Logan Paul will be on Raw n next Monday live on Raw. And then Becky Lynch, in the main event of the match, Becky Lynch, who wins the Battle Royal, and become the new Women's World Champion. And that's how the minute rounds with Becky Lynch standing tall. Now, I'm going to give you the AEW Dynasty results from this Sunday on the match card. So, uh, we have three pre-show matches. So, on the three pre-show matches we have was Trent Beretta defeated Matt Seidel with Mike Seidel by submission. Uh, we had... Uh, Kashir Shishida, Menard's cast defeated Shane Taylor in pr promotion. Shane Taylor and Lee Madari with Anthony Cogger by pinfall. Then we then we had a winner takes all match for the uh, unification for the AEW World Tag Team Champions and RH Six Man Tag Team Champions. Bowl Club Gold, Jay White, Austin Gunn, and Colton Gunn defeated the acclaimed Anthony Bowens and Max Caster and Billy Gunn by pinfall to win the AEW World Tag Team Champion Trios Championships. My bad, right there. So we had a singles match for the AEW Continental Championship. We have Kashiro Okada defeated Pac by pinfall. Then we had House of Black, Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews defeated Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe by pinfall in the trios match. Then we had Will Nightgale with with Sir Strickland defeated Julia Hart, and this was a, a house rules match for the AEW TBS Championship. And Will Nightgale is now the new. TBS champion. Then we had was uh, a single match for the AEW Intercontinental, Champ Intercontinental Championship, International Championship. We had Roger Strong defeated Kyle O'Reilly by pinfall. Then we had FTW rules match for the FTW Championship. Chris Jericho defeated Hook by pinfall to become the new FTW champion. 
Then we had a singles match for the AEW Women's World Championship. We had Thomas Tony Storm with Mariah May and Luther defeated Thunder Rosa by pinfall. Then we had a singles match where Will Ospreay defeated Brian Danielson by pinfall. Then we had a tournament final ladder match for the vacated AEW World Tag Team Championships. The Young Bucks, Matthew Jackson, Nicholas Jackson defeated FTR, Dax Harwood, and Cash Wheeler after, um, what's his name? Jack Perry pushed them off the ladder, uh, FTR off the ladder. And then the, and then the main event on AEW Dynasty we have is an AEW World Championship match. We have Shore Strickland when Prince Nana defeated Samoa Joe by pinfall. Shore Strickland is now the new AEW world champion and that's going to do here for one of four world of wrestling Wednesdays. once again the john squad please like this video leave your comments down below and subscribe for more you're all the best john squad you're one of them kind of each and every single one of you guys peace out the john squad and god bless and never forget we are all champions in this world together peace out guys god bless